Manchester United could let seven players go to start summer clear out the Man United released list. Could be long but the inevitable return of Loniz prevents them from clearing the decks. Verony and Marshall are out of contract in June when old soldiers die, new ones come in, Eric Ten Hag said. The creaking warhorses Raphael Verony and Johnny Evans are out of contract in under three months. Verena's frank admission his body is damaged a last week hardly strengthened his bargaining hand. Evans is breaking down as much as one would expect from a 36-year-old who has already played more minutes this term than he did for Leicester City last season. Verena has had six separate layoffs this term, and he has appeared in 93 United games out of a possible 154. Zlatan Ibrahimović Michael Carrick and Cristiano Ronaldo are the only other outfielders to have played for United beyond their 36th birthday since Ryan Giggs retired in 2014. United were due to have a recovery day on Monday yet Evans. And Verene require weeks. United have four more games this month and Harry Maguire and Willie Cambwalla are assured of starting as long as they do not join the patients in the physio's room. Donny van de Beek in action for Eintracht Frankfurt forgotten £35 million Manchester United man might give Sir Jim Ratcliffe his biggest summer challenge Tom Heaton, Anthony Marshall and Brandon Williams are among the senior players whose deals expire at the end of June. Marshall was supposed to be back by now but, to no surprise, has not been involved in team training sessions. Williams has not played all year on loan at Ipswich and was last seen arriving at court to hear allegations he inhaled laughing gas. Before being involved in a 74 miles per hour car crash Williams is one Loney United can release. But Donny van de Beek, Jaden Sancho, Facundo Palistri and Mason Greenwood will still be under contract if they return after June 30th. For starts and two substitute appearances suggest Eintracht Frankfurt. Will not take up their option to buy Van de Beek, an unused substitute in their last three matches Sevilla have an option to make Hannibal Medjbri's loan permanent, but he has made only one La Liga start. Alvaro Fernandez has to play a certain number of games to trigger a permanent move to Benfica, which may account for his lack of minutes in recent weeks. Polistri is playing regularly for La Liga relegation certainties Granada and the Uruguay International, is one of United's most sellable assets. The loss on Sancho will be considerable but United have to cut their losses on a player who accused the manager of lying, whether Ten Hag stays or goes Heaton, denied a move to Luton Town in the summer when United triggered the one-year extension in his contract, turns 38 next week. The former England international remained on the bench ahead of the fit again Altai Bayender at Chelsea, but was dropped from the matchday squad against Liverpool. Ten Hag was not as generous to Heaton when he was the de facto number two upon his return for the run-in last season. The on-loan Jack Butland retained his place and received an FA Cup silver medal at Wembley the Forsen experiment backfired against. Fulham Omari Forsen is small fry despite his relative prominence under Ten Hag, who mistakenly started him in the damaging defeat to Fulham in February. The 19-year-old has played only eight minutes since and is approaching the last two months of his deal. Forsen explored a possible departure in January and flirted with Arsenal in 2020. A left-footed forward is essential for United but Forsen would not be a significant loss. Man United will try to sign Girona left-back Gutierrez this summer Manchester United. We'll try to sign Girona left-back Miguel Gutierrez in the summer but could lose out to Real Madrid, who have an option to re-sign the 22-year-old. According to the Daily Star on Sunday, some Manchester United staff members have been told that they will no longer have access to chauffeur-driven private cars as Ineos continues to crack down.
on lavish spending by the club Eric Ten Hag feels he has been left in. Limbo by Manchester United as he awaits firm news on his future and the arrival of multiple members of the Ineos-sourced new backroom staff. Southampton head coach Russell Martin has said he expects the club's director of football Jason Wilcox to join Manchester United. United have approached Southampton about hiring Wilcox, who offered his resignation last week. United want to make him their technical director as part of the new recruitment team and have made an offer equivalent to a year of his. Salary they believe this meets a buyout clause in his contract but Southampton are disputing the clause's existence and are prepared to make him serve a year's notice period before he can take a job elsewhere speaking about the potential move. For Wilcox on Friday, Martin said to BBC Radio Solent, being brutally honest, the one person this affects the most is me, there is still lots going on that hasn't been clarified yet and legally. If he ends up going, which if we're being honest looks likely at this point, then he goes with nothing but good wishes from us all. He has played such a huge part in changing the culture of this club and the feeling around the training ground. He's enabled us to be the leaders that we want to be. Man United headlines. Striker targeted to ease Hodgland burden Manchester United and Arsenal target Joshua Xerxes is understood to prefer a move to AC Milan and has told his agents to pave the way for his dream transfer the twin sons of Manchester, United icon. Darren Fletcher have signed their first professional contracts, with the club just months after joining from Manchester City Manchester United are set to offer wonderkid Bendito Mantato, a new contract. According to reports Manchester United want to recruit a chief business officer to report to their incoming chief executive, Omar Barada Manchester United will return to the striker market this summer in search of some worthy competition for Rasmus Hodgland, who has been left to operate the position by himself in his first season in England Ferdinand. Rashford may have to make big decision to leave Man United. Rio Ferdinand believes Marcus Rashford may have to leave Manchester. United to reignite his career. Rashford's form has dipped this season in an inconsistent United side, scoring just eight goals in 36 appearances. The 26-year-old's off-field lifestyle has also come under the spotlight. After he went to a party following October's derby defeat by Manchester City and reportedly spent an evening at a Belfast nightclub in January before missing the following day's training due to illness former United defender Ferdinand feels Rashford, whose place in the England squad for Euro 2024 this summer could be in jeopardy needs to look at the people he surrounds himself with and possibly make a fresh start elsewhere. I think it's a pivotal moment.